Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about parallel lines and properties of those parallel lines when they're cut by a transversal. So if you look on the left side of our screen over here, we have pairs of angles. These are the relationships that we're going to discuss in this video. We have seven relationships, corresponding, alternate interior, alternate exterior, consecutive interior, consecutive exterior, vertical, and linear pair. So we're going to run through this diagram on the right side and I'm going to highlight where these angle relationships will be located. And then we'll discuss whether these angles are congruent to each other or if they are supplementary. So we'll start with corresponding. So corresponding, if you notice, we'll have four examples here. So angle one and angle five would be corresponding. Three and seven, two and six, and four and eight. So notice with corresponding, they are in the same location, just on the, the opposite parallel line. And if you notice, just based on how they look, it looks like they are congruent, and that is in fact their relationship. All right, so corresponding angles are congruent. The next type that we're gonna look at are alternate interior. So alternate, that means opposite sides of the transversal, which is our diagonal line that cuts through the middle. And interior means on the inside of our parallel lines. So that's gonna be three and six, or four and Five. So those angles would be considered alternate interior. And the relationship that alternate interior have, those are also congruent. Okay, the next one that we're gonna look at is alternate exterior. And those will be in the light green color. All right, alternate exterior. So we'll start, once again, alternate. That means opposite sides of the transversal, and then exterior on the outside of the parallel lines. So that's gonna be one and eight. Those would be alternate exterior. And then also two and seven. So also you can note with alternate exterior, their measures look like they are the same, and that is the case. They are congruent angles. All right, our next relationship that we're gonna look at is called consecutive interior. So interior, same as um, when we did alternate interior, right? Interior means inside those parallel lines, but consecutive means they're on the same side of the transversal. So you might also hear these referred to as same side interior. So that would be four and six or three and five. Now take a minute and look at these angles, right? You notice, hey, those don't really look like they're the same measure. And that's good, they're not. These angles, they do have a relationship. They're not congruent, they are supplementary which means they add together to equal 180 degrees. All right, our next relationship we're gonna look at is consecutive exterior. So consecutive, once again, means they're on the same side of that transversal, but exterior means on the outside of the parallel lines. So this would be one and seven, and also two and eight, All right? So once again, looking at those angles, you can tell they are not the same measure. And so these angles, too, are supplementary. Okay, so the consecutive interior and consecutive exterior, remember those could be called same side interior or same side exterior. Those angles add up to 180 degrees. All right, the next relationship we're gonna talk about are vertical angles. So vertical angles are formed at where we have, almost it looks like an X, right? So vertical angles we're gonna have at one and four, those angles one and four would be vertical angles. Angles two and three would also be vertical angles. Five and eight would be vertical angles. And lastly, six and seven would be vertical angles. So when looking at their angle measures, they look like they're the same and that is the case. Vertical angles are congruent angles. They have the same measure. And the last relationship that we're gonna look at is called a linear pair. So a linear pair, We'll see a couple examples here. All right, linear pair. We could have angle one and angle two. We could have angle three and angle four. We could have five and six. We could have seven and eight. But with linear pair, it's just any two angles that are adjacent, they're right next to each other, and they share a common side. So here we could also have one and three. Those would also be a linear pair. Two and four would be a linear pair. Five and seven would be a linear pair. And lastly, six and eight would be a linear pair. So if you notice linear pair, their angle measures are not the same. So therefore linear pair, those angles are supplementary. They would add up to 180. 
Okay, so there's a little bit of information about the properties of parallel lines when they're cut by a transversal.